Carol O'Connor was the American working man out of the 30s who believed he was the class equal of everyone in our country, which I think is the basis of our democracy, basically. So we didn't put him in blue collar gear. He had seven white shirts. Now, they, because of the color and, and requirements of, of television, particularly in those days, they were tan shirts from Brooks Brothers made of Oxford cloth so that they would take in the light and we recut the uh, cuffs and the collars so that they simply looked like every man's white shirt. You knew Edith Bunker ironed those every day and he, he had one pair of pants for that seven years because he became superstitious about those pants. And to keep those pants mended and functioning and let out a little bit as age and success, you know, uh, takes its toll on us. Um, that hat was like um, like a beacon of, a, of, of the American gentleman. And I will admit that he loved that hat, and so did I, because I think he was wearing a working man's cap before. But that hat became part of that persona. And there was only one when we started. And I have never forgotten coming back from the 5.30 show for the 8 o'clock show, and the hat was gone. Some fan in the audience probably now has the original Archie Bunker hat. We made it through the eight o'clock show with something improvised from my loft, but I had three of those hats made and sometimes five so that at all times we were protected. Now one of them's at the Smithsonian. I think one went home with Carol, and I have one still to this day at my studio, and there was one left at CBS. But I treasure, that's one of my treasures at my studio.